devil is the start? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? Hello? Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. I'm actually a little nervous, I have to say. <laughs> a touch of the old jitters. No kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. Especially you, Nastas. You really have made remarkable progress in the short time I've known you. I'm glad you have found it useful. I've always been a little afraid of savages, if I'm honest. Your mastery of basic English and openness to rational discussion is nothing short of reassuring. You see, all those years of research were worth it. Isn't it fascinating? I've actually noticed that your skull is very Caucasian in form. I must have a prod around it at some time. I'd rather you didn't. So many questions. Have humans evolved into competing subspecies? Why is the white man civilized more quickly? Why does the stuff here dance for rain and sacrifice deer to a myriad of false idols? You're starting to offend me, old man. No deer sacrifices then? I must make a note of it. Why don't you try breathing instead of talking for a while? I feel so alive! Shoot it! Shoot it! You've angered her. Now we're open the list! My god, that was terrifying! Did I say we leave before any of its friends turn up? My goodness, I'm still shaking! What a ferocious animal! That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. All very well for you to say, but perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals, but I, sir, have nothing but my innate instinct for self-preservation. Here we are. Oh. Hey! Come on! Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, but I... Well, violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What does he say, Marston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn it, oh, Dutch! <laughs> Professor, get down, now! They killed the stars! How'd that one get through? Marston! You have to get us out of here! Just keep your head down! while we got the chance. Yes, let's get out of this hell hole and back to civilization. Ooh. We should move quickly. There's plenty more where they came My from. My God, I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting shot at will do that to you. I'm completely drained. It's like my body is in. This can't be happening. Not again.
Lady up! Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. <laughs>